Hi, this is problem 10.7 and they are asking us to find the area moment of inertia respect to the x-axis. I will do this problem by two methods. First, by using a parallel strip to the axis where I want to find, so using a parallel strip, which this case is a horizontal strip. And then second, I will solve the same problem by using a vertical strip. Okay, so let's start one by using a parallel strip, which is the horizontal. So I will use the horizontal strip. This is dy. And since this point right here is given by this function right here, this is x, y, this is 1. Therefore, my strip is 1 minus x. I will calculate ix, which you know is y squared, the, the area, and this is the integral of the area. And I said that my differential of area in this case is 1 minus x dy. I will substitute that in my integral, and I have y squared, 1 minus x dy, and the limits of integrations are no longer the area, are the limits of integration of my variable of integration. In this case, it's one, 0 to 1. And I have to put all the variables in terms of my variable of integration. Therefore, this is 0, 1, y squared, 1 minus. And I solve for x, and I get y, 3, half, y. I will solve that integral, and I get, well, let me just multiply that first, y squared minus, and this is 7 half dy. That gave me then, when I integrate those, gave me cube over 3 minus y 9 half over 9 half. And all that evaluated between 0 and 1, that gave me 1 third minus 2 9. That all of in meters or the fourth, right? Because my limit of integration is in meters. 1 ninth meters over four. So that's the result of my area moment of inertia of this plate using a parallel strip to x, which is a horizontal strip. I will then now solve the same problem by two using a vertical. So let me draw my figure again, so don't, not to get confused. This is still y cubed equals x squared. My dimensions are the same, of course. And as I said, now I'm going to use a vertical strip. My differential of area will be y dx, however, I have to use the inertia of this differential of area. So when we use a vertical strip, we have to take into consideration the inertia of that vertical strip. So what we are going to integrate is the integral of that inertia calculated respect to the x-axis. So we will use the parallel axis theorem to calculate the inertia respect to the x-axis. So therefore, we can write this integral as, you remember that the inertia of a rectangle, it will be equals to y cubed dx over 12, and the limits of integrations now will be in my variable of integration, which is 0 to 1, plus from 0 to 1 as again, my distance, which is y half squared times 
the areas of width y dx. Okay, so I, here I can actually combine those two integrals and I will get that this is over 12 and this is over 4. That will give me cube dx over 3, okay? Some 0 to 1. That I can substitute y cube is equals to x squared, therefore this is some 0 to 1, x squared divided by 3 dx. And this is a very easy integral, x cubed over 3 times 3, and the limit of the integration is 0 to 1. Therefore, my ix is equal to 1 over 9, and since this is meters, meters over 4. Okay, so as you see, I get exact the same value for the, the two approaches.